Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at this digital SAT math question. We'll be using the prep expert strategy, a center of data to solve the problem. So in this example, we've been given two dot plots which represent the distributions of values in data sets A and B, and we're asked to figure out which of the statements must be true. Statement 1 says that the median of data set A is equal to the median of data set B, and statement 2 says that the standard deviation of data set A is equal to the standard deviation of data set B. So in data set A, we see that we have 17 values, so our median is going to be our ninth value. This is because our median is going to be the middle of the data set. Our ninth value will be this dot right here, meaning that our median of data set A is going to be 13. For data set B, we also have 17 values, so again, the median will be our ninth value. The ninth value will be this dot right here, meaning that for data set B, the median is also 13. So one is a true statement. Because of this, we can eliminate choices B and D. So looking at our data sets, we see that both will be normal distributions as they have no obvious outliers. This means that the mean will be equal to the median for both of our data sets. Using this, we can kind of figure out what our standard deviation for each set will be. So the standard deviation is a measure of the amount of variability in a set of data. So it's a measure of how far the individual data points are from the mean of the data. For data set A, we see that most of the values are concentrated closer to our middle or mean, but for data set B, most of the values are concentrated a little bit more outside of our mean. This means that data set B will have a larger standard deviation than data set A, since the data points are spread out over a wide range of values, whereas in data set A, the data points are more tightly clustered around the mean. Because these are two different distributions, the standard deviations cannot be equal to each other. So this means that um, statement two will be wrong. So our correct answer here will be choice A, one A only. So I hope this was helpful and you can learn more digital SAT strategies like this at prepexpert.com.